is just a little bit of history on the world record burbot. Um, Adam and I started fishing for a world record burbot back in 2007 um, when we knew it actually was attainable. Um, IGFA had a burbot registered for the world record at 19 pounds and uh, we had caught a burbot in 2007 and uh, it was almost 10, uh, almost 20 pounds, 19, point, 19 pounds, 10 ounces I think. Um, but we knew that that actually wasn't the original world record burbot because uh, there was another organization, Freshwater Fish and Game had a burbot registered and uh, that burbot was over 22 pounds. So we knew that we still had to catch a burbot that was over 22 pounds. So we continued our quest um, March of 2010. I caught this guy right here, 25 pound, two ounce burbot. And uh, yeah, so we registered that under both organizations and we currently have the world record burbot. Um, also another fish that we had caught that was a giant burbot. Adam caught a 22 pounder back in 2017. And when we netted that fish, we, we thought we had another world record fish because that fish was 41 inches long, um, just not as fat. So we're looking for, uh, in this episode here or at this lake, we're going to be looking for a fish that's in a 40 inch range and a fat fish. So anything that's in that 38 to 40 inch fish um, is going to be contending for a world record. It's early February. I am packing up. It is February 3rd right now. I'm just packing up all my stuff. Tomorrow we are headed out. We are going to be hitting some big burbot. My friend Brad and I are going. Early February these fish are going to be scattered still. I don't expect to catch a pile of them but I want to get out as many times as I can. This is probably going to be part one of three different fishing trips. So goal is at least a 20 pounder would be nice, but uh, I'd like to break my world record. It is possible. There's big fish in this lake and I'm going to put the time in and hopefully I can catch myself another world record burbot. Uh, so today we're sitting in 35 feet of water. We're not going too deep for burbot. I'm going to try a little bit shallower this trip. And we're going to bounce around today once it gets warmer outside and punch some holes and get active because it's uh, supposed to get to minus four today. One of those days you dream of no wind, minus four, when the temperature has been minus 25 at home and windy. Even if we don't catch fish, we're doing good. Yeah, or what? Yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, you got a nice one. I'm gonna bring my rod in here. It's a big burb, I bet. This is, they come up and then they do these downwards. Yeah. yeah, he's dead way down there. He's back at bottom. Yeah, I can't even see him yet. Yeah, I haven't been gaining anything on him here for a bit, so. Yeah, get a nice one. Turn this coffee down a bit. Oh yeah, big burbot. Big burbot. 12 pound. Oh, big, big burbot. Here he comes. Huge burbot. Oh my goodness. Look at that monster. It's gonna be tough to get them to straighten out. Oh my goodness. It's a balloon. It is. Yeah, like 31 maybe. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, we're zeroed out. Just leave them, lay them down. Holy crap. This thing can't eat anymore. So 13, 13, 12. 
Nice. Good job. My jiggy jack just went off. It. Been waiting all morning for this. Yeah, this is going off like mad. Yeah. I didn't get a bell on my one on the tent yet either. Bet you this is a burb. I got a Sedona 2500 series reel on this. Here it comes. <sighs> oh my goodness. Hey right, guys. <laughs> Got my 39 hour bump board here. Oh, she's gonna go, she'll go 32. Yeah, it's over 32. Over 32, but it's so kinked. Not a, not a monster, not a huge monster. So, I'm gonna get some pictures with this guy here after. But, just a fat 32 and a half inch bourbon, 14 pounder. But we have fog cover this morning, so we Brad was saying how the bite's probably going to be a bit later in the morning, and and we were thinking about moving, so we're going to see if we get any more action here. And if we do, we might stay. If we don't, we uh, might make a move. But uh, fishing's been uh, pretty decent so far, so let's hope we catch some more fish here. Guys, I don't talk about snowsuits and stuff enough, I guess. I'm wearing FXR, the Pro Series. It's the excursion suit from uh, FXR. And I can't stress enough the importance of having a good quality uh, winter suit for ice fishing. Um, if it's minus 30, I, uh, I wouldn't even hesitate to go outside and fish outside for a while with a good quality suit. So if you're looking for a good winter suit FXR is uh, what we've been using for the last three or four years and uh, good quality they're local from Winnipeg so if you guys are from Canada you know support Canadian companies guys I am hooked up I just hooked this fish and got the GoPro running Big burb! Big burbot! Guys on the frostbite! What a tank! That guy's gotta go 10 to 12, I bet. What a beast! Just got this burbot, we moved. I'm gonna quickly weigh this guy. I could probably do it myself. Can you take the camera? Yeah, you want? I got the weight skill here. We're gonna give this one away here. I marked another fish in just a little bit shallower, and uh, this one came in and just smacked it. Twelve six. Fat, fat burbot. Oh, that's a big fish. Some recording. Good. Can uh, we open up a window here? It's light here. Okay. Yeah, that should be okay. Oh, that's a big fish. Good. Yeah. So guys, I didn't, I, we, we moved out away from all these people that were around us. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull it up like that. And uh, we got away from everyone. 
We caught one big burbot there and this one feels way bigger. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, big burbot. We have got three Lagers. Big oh burbot. my goodness. This thing's a freaking tank. I got it. Oh my goodness. That's a 18, I bet. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Guys, what a monster burbot. Holy crap. We're we gonna go right here. That's a tank. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to beat my world record here and that thing is close. Yeah. That thing is That thing close. is gonna be up there. Okay, I'm gonna get the weigh scale. We've left the measuring board at our other spot. Oh boy. Hopefully we can get some good pictures with this fish. Cause uh, they like to curl up quite a bit. I am gonna wanna try and release this fish. Okay, zeroed out. Do this quick. Oh, 17 8. That's Beauty. a 17 and a half pound burbot, you guys. What a monster! Okay, guys, 17 and a half pound. Monster bourbon. I'm gonna get him back. I'm gonna just dump him in and let him go. Oh yeah, he's gone. Bye bye. Yes. Oh my goodness. No. Wait. You got one? Oh yeah, don't worry, I'm your transducer man. Big fish. Pretty good for sure. Well, our move really panned out here, hey? Yeah, he's right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice burbot. A little bit small, maybe 10, 12. It's a burbot. Nice, buddy. Nice. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm ready for pictures. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. Say what, eight pounds? Beauty. Yeah. Maybe ten. Maybe but... ten. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good job. Let's get back at it. Oh, that is bright. Guys, it is dark outside. We caught three fish here between four and five, and then it is 6.45 now, and Brad and I were literally just going to pack up and go. And what happens when you pack up and go? You hook a fish and you lose it. <laughs> So we're going to stick it out another 15 minutes in this spot and uh, see if we can get one more burbot in the nighttime. And then we are going to pack up the portable shack and go back to our sleeping quarters. And tomorrow we are probably going to decide if we come back here soon, maybe it will be bedtime. Alright, 
after those burbot last night. Came back to the shack where we were sleeping and we went to bed. I had a great sleep. But right now it is 7.30 in the morning. I just got my jigging jaw jacker set up outside. And uh, coffee is made. Cheers. And we are gearing up for the last remaining morning bite of the trip. On. Get out of here, Sonar. Oh, big burbot. Watch this. Watch this. Nice. No, just leave it. Nice burbot. Oh, yeah. I got a little bit of slush on the side. Nice little eight pounder. You know what that's gonna be? That's gonna be dinner. He didn't even mark that fish. He came in nice and low on bottom. That is my smallest one of the trip. And it's a good start to the day. Sonars are nice and all, something to look at, but most of these burbot are, uh, we're not marking, they're literally slithering right on bottom. Sonars are good for GPS, getting your pins, and uh, if you have pan optics, which I don't yet, and that's my next move, is to oh, buy one of those. Um, pan optics, you can, uh, or live scope, I guess, you can, see the fish slithering on bottom so they're kind of a game changer and my friend Wesley has one but uh, Wesley moved to Whitehorse he uh, abandoned me so Brad and I are gonna be fishing now so you'll see more of Brad um, this trip I don't know I've told you I'm using the new Vanford from Shimano I just got it this uh, winter and this is awesome I'm going in and out of the shack and uh, it's getting hot and freezing and cold and snow's getting on it and it has not jammed up yet. So really recommend those Vanford from Shimano. Step one, wake up brother gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Oh. On again. I'm trying to get some footage for you guys. Big head shakes on this one. Big head shakes, but it does feel a burbish. Burbit. Oh yeah, big burbot. Big yeah. burbot. I got him here. He's coming. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be picture worthy for sure. Guys, look at this fish. Oh my goodness. That's a 12. Got a couple picks. Gotta let these big ones go, guys. Breeding spot clock. All right. So guys, I'm running the Helix 7. Trip, I don't want my battery going dead because I've been running this thing hard. Probably at least 10 hours a day. I got in the Dakota 23 amp hour battery because I don't want this thing dying on me out here. So, big shout out to Dakota Lithium. Guys, we are ending our trip here. We've been on the lake for two and a half days and 
fishing's been good and we caught some nice fish. We're gonna bring some fish home and we release some of the big ones here, so. This is an absolute tank. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys.